Welcome to my vlog. This is a bi-weekly-ish vlog about how I have uh, uprooted my life in America to come to Thailand. I grew up not knowing much about Thailand, so I'm here to learn Thai uh, for a year as well as learn about Thai culture and Thai history. So I hope you'll stick around. Please like and subscribe and uh, on to the episode. Hey y'all. Uh, it's been two weeks, so time to do another update. Uh, I have done one week of language classes. Uh, again, it's only uh, two days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesdays. Um, so far, I've known about 85% of what is taught, but we're still, you know, in the beginning. It's hello and introductions and numbers. Um, I think the next few weeks is on food, so hopefully I'll know how to order food uh, by the end. Uh, but it's been good. Uh, I'm in a class with like 10 other people and you have um, like people from Turkey and Germany and Russia and Japan. So it's a big mix of people learning Thai. I'm uh, the only person who is Thai <laughs> learning Thai, which is fun in itself. Um, but that's usually the case, so. Uh, what else? Um, Oh, uh, I bought a motorcycle, um, the smallest motorcycle I've ever bought, but it's a motorcycle. It's a Honda Monkey 125cc. It's a very, very small bike. I think, you know, the smallest bike I've owned is a 150cc, and then, um, of course, I had my Honda Rebel 500, which they do have in Thailand. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's pricey and I just wasn't sure about riding in Thailand just yet because I know that um, when I rented a scooter you know it's very light and you can zip around traffic in but uh, with a rebel you know I could zip around traffic in LA but not as well as I could on my uh, spade 150 uh, so I got a smaller bike just for now uh, we'll see if I end up keeping it and riding it around I rode with a like grandpa scooter gang uh, scooter club yesterday uh, where everyone was must have been at least 50 and up um, and there was one guy that was like 85 and still riding uh, which props to him but you know we were only going about 70 kilometers which isn't very fast and my motorcycle my 125 cc you know, that's actually a good speed for it. But we got passed by two groups of motorcycles. Uh, one was like a sport bike group and the other one was like a mix of sport bike and cruisers, like Harleys. And I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at them, <laughs> wishing I could be with them. Uh, no, I, I mean, I loved the group that I was with yesterday. I just, it I had a little bit of FOMO because you know, they were zipping by and you're like, could be me uh, but yeah my Honda monkey has been fun to ride so I'm glad I bought it it's given me way more freedom because I can actually you know go places and not depend on anyone else which <laughs> turns out is really really important to me um, as soon as I could drive you know I saved up and bought a car um, and I've done so many cross-country road trips mostly for work in the States uh, but I even lived out of my car for like two weeks at one point. So like it's like ha a vehicle and like a, a mode of transport is like it's very comforting to me. So when I didn't have it, I felt I did feel really really trapped. I'm just glad I have two wheels. And maybe I'll get another set of two wheels soon. Uh, what else? I had coffee with a Australian author not too long ago and uh, she was really really cool she has I think two or three published books and is working on another one and has like book deals which is just really cool um, to hear about and then she just I don't know it was really talking to other writers was really like a good kick that's like oh yeah I have stories to tell oh yeah I have you know these ideas that I should just really start doing um, instead of just waiting around. So I've been motivated in that sense, which is funny because I'm, I'm not here to work. 
and it definitely feels like a working, but it's definitely also a hobby. So, um, I don't know, it's nice to be motivated to do something and have like a thing that I'm working on. So, uh, I'm currently working on a children's book idea. Um, there's a contest I saw online for unpublished um, artists, so I'm gonna uh, submit this picture book idea to them and then we'll see what happens. Probably won't go anywhere, but at least it gives me like a deadline uh, to work towards. So yeah, uh, that is the update. Um, I'll see you probably in two weeks. Thanks y'all. Oh, by the way, I dyed my hair from, gray, you know, it had a lot of grays to black and I, it looks so fake to me. It looks like someone took a Sharpie, you know, and just colored it in. Anyway, all right, see you next time.